<laughs> right, go on, so take us around it then, mate. Right, this is my 140 bag boiler. Right, now I feel the need to quickly jump in here and clarify something. When Rafe said 140 bags, his bags, uh, these guys use 5.5 to 6 kilogram bags. Uh, so the large XLS uh, unicorn bags. This isn't just normal bags we're talking about. They are massive. So, you know, this could easily fit a shit ton of uh, two kilogram bags. Oh, steamer. I've got two boilers either size. It's got a false bottom in it. Pumped with 100 degrees steam in. And um, I mean, it's been on. How long has it been on for now? Uh, 20 hours. It's been on for about 20 hours. It's got almost another 20. Okay. Thereabouts. My internal block is at 90 degrees. Okay. How long does it, no how long does it normally take to get up to 10? Um, well, this is the second time we've run this. Um, and the first time we ran it, we didn't have insulation on the boiler. So mm -hmm. we did an all nighter here. Um, and spent the time with it, but I think it's about 17 hours for the internal temperature of the block to get to 90 degrees. Um, and because I use raw sawdust from a sawmill, um, I sterilize that much longer just because there's already a fair amount of contaminants growing in the sawdust when I get it. Yeah. So this will sit at 90 degrees for, we're going to go with 20 hours, but we might just extend that to 24 hours. And the actual box itself, you, so what's it made out of? Actual box is aluminium plates, the same stuff you get in kind of a nightclub smoking area. Um, and then my boilers are both stainless steel um, box. That's the custom made square one, uh -huh. um, which I'm hoping we'll do some design on and hopefully stop at some point. Yeah. And that is just your standard cooking pot conversion. Yeah. So we with the with the boilers and they're just they're basically just it's an element. In a, it's like a retrofitted element with, and what's the piping and stuff that you come off here? They're just the like- piping, it's all brewers fit as piping. Mm -hmm. um, so they're literally just, I think they're called Camlock C and D barbs. You're literally just getting male barbs um, and high temp silicone tubing. All of this is from the brewing shop. Um, yeah. It's all 304 stainless steel. That's what you want. You don't want it to rust. Um, and obviously it's sitting here at near enough 100 degrees for near enough two to two and a half days so yeah you don't want things to go wrong and melt and it's just worth taking your time and getting everything getting it all done properly so you had you had one that's half the size before this right yeah so this so, is my old steamer compared to my well my new steamer so my old one was that thereabouts um, and we literally just cut the side off welded another extension onto it yeah, so so run me through it again. So there's a there's a false bottom in there that's about um, how many inches off the bottom? About ten inches off the bottom, maybe. Yeah, false bottom probably about ten inches. I mean, you can kind of see it's the false bottom is just sitting above where this um, invent is here. Yeah. And then that is very well supported because weight wise, how many kilos, Oscar? I think we got. 500 and something kilos worth of bags on top of this false bottom. Yeah. Um, all in all, it's 850 yeah. together, isn't it? I don't think it's 850 kilos. Yeah, the whole steamer so fully loaded. Once it's been on for 14 hours, it's near enough, yeah, 900 kilos. And it's literally like a set and forget sort of thing. Once you've packed it up, you can, you know, obviously you just run it for the time period, turn it off and then good to go. As yeah. you were saying before, there's a little bit of, um, obviously there's a, ah. There's some need for some drainage every now and again because it's. I mean, this is the sort of thing you could actually just have like you could run that out into a drain if someone else was to have one of these, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you could just have it open and um, <laughs> you are going to get you know minimum amount of heat loss coming out of that vent. Yeah. Did you um, face any problems when you were building it? No, I mean it's the probably the ninth time I've built a boiler and steamer so yeah. you know I started near enough with my barrel steamer and I made three of those before I went back working and kind of yeah made a proper barrel realized it wasn't big enough got a custom made one that fitted 45 bags and obviously now I'm here with a big unit and a lot of space and I need a lot of bags to do it kind of <laughs> get out of here so uh so basically, you, at the moment, you only really need to run this once a week. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to potentially maybe even only run it uh, once every two weeks. 
that would be ideal because it costs a shitload of money. Yeah. Um, so nice though. Good bit of kit, though, mate. Yeah. And obviously, we, we're we're kind of half using it as well at the moment, just to try and get out ahead of our substrate issues. But yeah, nice one, mate. Cheers, buddy. And we're going to do a proper. We're going to do like a proper tour of the uh, of the farm at some point as well. So we'll uh, yeah. Bob tour. Hi. Cheers, um, mate. We'll do it at the beginning of the day, so my brain is working 